Hey, what's up, everybody? Alliverse just released the uh, the latest update to the Voice of the Galaxy series. Now, in case you don't know what this is, this is just a little, uh, little thing that Alliverse does. Uh, Voice of the Galaxy update radio or developer radio. This is just basically quality of life updates that are coming to the future in Star Rail, whether it's like up, uh, updates that are coming in the next patch or future patches. Uh, I've been covering these ever since the game launched, you know, you know, dating all the way back to uh, version 1.0. But this is no exception. Uh, there's a couple of quality of life updates coming to the future in Honkai Star Rail, and I'm going to be covering them right now. Uh, all of these are going to be coming in version 2.3, so keep that in mind. By the way, it's, it's 2 in the morning, so my sound a little tired but the first update here is adds the display for toughness value and toughness reduction after the version 2.3 update the toughness reduction of characters skills and the enemies toughness will be displayed more straightforwardly when the trailblazer reviews characters abilities you will be able to see the toughness reduction of the current ability when reviewing enemy details you will see the enemies or the enemy targets toughness current toughness and max toughness and be able to adjust your strategies accordingly another weakness break battling is cool so yeah that's i mean this is pretty 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 cool i guess i mean it's already this has already been in the game but i guess now it's gonna be a little bit more easier to tell but whatever that's cool next up is uh selected content early experience after the version 2.3 update, the finalities of uh, Vision Future will be added to the game. When the Trailblazer's Trailblazer's level is at 21 or higher, you can use the finalities Vision to experience some content that you have yet to meet the requirements for, such as Divergent Universe and Apocalyptic Shadow. More content can be uh, accessed and advanced in the future through the finalities Vision Future. So, this might be something to uh, look forward to long term. Basically, what this is is just uh, for content that you might not have access to because it's get kept behind like a certain quest or whatever. I mean, you could just you could just go ahead and do it early. I mean, they got a couple examples here, right? Divergent Universe, Apocalyptic Shadow. Um, we're we're not sure how these will be unlocked though, but. I, I'm, I'm trying to think of some examples maybe like an event you know for example like um like with with an event maybe if you haven't done like a trailblaze mission you can probably go ahead and do it anyways or whatever but there'll be special missions uh marked with the finalities vision feature like early access obtained and all that new game mode divergent universe so for a long time when divergent universe was announced we didn't know if it was gonna be like a simulated universe revamp or if it was just gonna be um like another game mode right like golden gear swarm disaster but i mean hey it looks like now we know uh so this is awesome scrollum created a completely new project branch a divergent universe bringing new blessings curios and random occurrences to trailblazers and even configured a totally new testing ground equations and weighted cure this might this might actually be hold on this might actually straight up just be different than simulated universe if so then that's actually awesome it is oh my god i, I haven't read through this yet <laughs> in the new divergent universe trailblazers can now quickly obtain planar ornaments <clears throat> so you can what this says is uh you can just straight up like you just directly challenge like boss stages and get planar ornaments way faster than in standard simulated universe. So even in a simulated universe, when you finally, uh, when when you are not, I don't know why I said finally. When you're when you're farming and you just want planar ornament sets and you already reach like the max like point limit, you can just do divergent universe instead, which super super helpful. Uh, for more details about Divergent Universe, keep, keep, please keep an eye out on subsequent official announcements. It's probably not going to happen. 2.3 is dropping next week. So we'll be, we'll be uh, getting our hands on Divergent Universe in a little bit. 
In addition, after completing related adventure missions for Divergent Universe in version 2.3, content related to Divergent Universe and Simulated Universe in the International Peace Guide will be combined in a new tab. So Trailblazers can easily check their unlocked and clearance progress for the Simulated Universe module. You're, you're telling me we're getting... Oh... I'm not sure if Divergent Universe is going to be uh, something that's replayable, right? As we all know, Simulated Universe is replayable because the wars refresh weekly. Same thing with Memory of Chaos, uh, Apocalyptic Shadow, Pure Fiction, right? I'm not sure if Divergent Universe is going to be like that too. This does seem like it's going to be a lot bigger than Golden Gears and Swarm Disaster, which is crazy because... Those are already big enough. Swarm Disaster has like 5,000 jades to it. Probably the same with Golden Gears too. So, Divergent Universe. The, the fact that it's big enough to warrant its own tab here. Separate from Simulated Universe. Really does say a lot about it. And if this really is replayable. Just like Simulated Universe. And the, and the rewards refresh every week. Or refresh on a consistent schedule. That's two endgame systems that we're getting in version 2.3. That's kind of crazy. That, that I'm not going to lie. That's a little crazy. The, the devs are cooking a little too hard with this. So I'm not going to lie. Uh, 2.3 2 2 uh, definitely has a lot to offer. I can't wait. I feel like it's going to be one of the best updates ever. And I'm kind of so real. I'm definitely up there with version 2.0. Anyways, a treasure light word optimization. After the version 2.3 update, the preset lineup feature will be added to the Treasures Lightword team. Uh, Lightword's team lineup screen. Trailblazers can select their regular team lineup to handle different stages with a single click. So you can create a team in advance, and then instead of having to make the team, set the characters here every single time, you could just use the the preset lineup here and just put your put your team right here. It saves a bunch of time. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, <clears throat> something to look forward to for sure. Adds a character reordering feature. Trailblazers can drag characters during setting up a team lineup to quickly rearrange their positions and order in the team. So, you know, you can just go ahead and like drag characters. So, if you have a character that's more prone to attacking or more prone to being attacked, like Clara, you could just drag them to, you could just drag her to like one of the edges of the team, for example, right? super helpful the maximum reward limit for treasures light word is increased from version 2.3 onward the forgotten hall memory of chaos apocalyptic shadow and pure fiction modes will yield up to stellar jade or 800 stellar jade and other rewards per phase so it was 720 before not only are we getting more end game content the rewards are going up this is like honkai impact a level end game which is crazy because genshin doesn't have that Genshin Impact does not have that. This is really a breath of fresh air. Even a year later, it's still surprising what these devs can do. They can actually make a, 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 a good game, you know? That's crazy. Other optimization. So there's more miscellaneous stuff. Let us quickly summarize some other optimizations. <laughs> After the version 2.3 update, Trailblazers playing on the PC can use their keyboards to rapidly switch between category tabs and the selected target in the inventory page. And more that's that's cool you know you can just you just press whatever key to like switch between this stuff i might actually use it so business can view detail about their friends as character builds and other information more easily so it's it's already it's already you know pretty easy see character builds for now there's a there's it's gonna be even easier they're gonna switch that up to make it look nicer make it more easier to to view that's nice Travel log icons will be added to events and some content related to game modes in the mission catalog so trailblazers can have an easier time finding the missions and participating in a timely manner. Type, type stuff, type stuff. My my trailblazing expedition will be a smooth one. I agree. I agree. It'll, it'll, definitely, uh, it'll, definitely, it'll definitely be a smooth one now. But that's uh, that's it for the, the, the quality of life updates coming to version 2.3. Uh, just to quickly rehash things, uh, to add in, add in display for toughness value, you can play some content early, 
uh there's a brand new game mode completely different from simulated universe called divergent universe uh there's there's easier uh more accessibility for for some of the end game content you know you can have like preset teams that you could uh they could just set easily and also the little the little key thing here you can look at character builds more easily and then the travel log icon but that's uh that's it this is a there's a really good uh list of updates uh, i'm super looking forward to, to version 2.3 this honestly looks like it might be really up there with one of the updates of all time with honkai star Rail. like we're talking like version 2.0 level good version 1.2 type good you know i feel like i feel like this will definitely be uh marked pretty high up in my hawkeye sorrow version 2.x tier list whenever we're approaching the next region and version 3.0 is about to come out whenever that may be probably february next year uh but anyways that's it goodbye